Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So today we are doing the last installment in my complimentary creative sim mini series that I had going on as far as cast goes. So today we're doing red and green also known as primarily known as well Christmas colors. Um, so that's really all I thought about when I was making this and uh, thankfully my audio is actually recording because ever since I had an update on Windows uh, last week I think or which whichever day it was, um, it's been messing up my audio. It messed up my video yesterday. Now it's like, I almost started, I recorded like two minutes of audio for this um, voiceover and then I checked and I was like, oh, my audio is not recording. But anyways, besides my technical difficulties, I had a lot of fun doing this one as I do every creative sim, but I feel like this one I didn't feel as rushed as I did with the last one for some reason. I think this one I just kind of like sat down and I had a concept kind of for what I wanted to do. I really wanted her to just look very sweet and I wish I had elf ears that kind of like stuck out. I think that she would have looked really adorable if I did that um, because she had like really big eyes and then obviously her features are quite large. Um, also, I did get some new presets plus I still want to get some more presets which I'll end up making a video on hopefully soon because uh, I found a lot of nice nose presets and eyes uh, so I'd love to share that with you guys because adding presets to the game kind of changes up you know how you make your sims and it just gives a different look to them so I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing hopefully within within sometime in September so um, I have quite a bit going on for me right now so I'm trying to be a day ahead as far as videos go so I'm recording this today but it's going up tomorrow for me um so i'm just trying to like do that so i can actually keep uploading if that makes sense uh so hopefully i can stay on track because right now i'm feeling really good and it'll make me just want to produce more content plus realm of magic is coming out i've had the code to put into my game but i just haven't done it because i'm trying to get a few videos out before i do so so i still have to upload this one and then i also want to build safina's off the grid house from island living before i go ahead and put realm of magic in before i make all those videos which i'm really excited because i cannot wait to like make a let's play on that i don't know where I'm going with it yet, yeah, I have not even thought about it because I feel like I need to get my hands on the pack first, check it out, see what's in there, and then kind of decide what I want to do as far as sims and storyline and everything like that because I have been trying to avoid kind of seeing a lot of the spoilers about Realm of Magic because I'm just, I want to kind of explore it on my own, especially since I do have early access for it. Um, so I'm just kind of avoiding live streams and other stuff like at first I wanted to know more because I wanted to know like what the heck is Realm of Magic about um, but now I've kind of stepped back and I'm just like kind of just avoiding as much as possible especially since the live stream like showed way more stuff than like we've seen as far as like gifts and little sneak peeks and stuff so um, yeah I'm definitely gonna be diving into that head first and just being ready to see like what is to come with it but yeah anyways enough about Rebel of magic because that's gonna be coming up this coming week so check out monday monday's gonna be when i'm gonna be releasing all my Rebel of magic videos and then throughout that week probably as well but yeah so since we're on the topic of videos and presets and stuff like that i also have been wanting to make a must-have mods video for a while because there's a lot of mods that i use in my game i used to have a mod um where you guys see like the little wrench that identifies that it's a piece of custom content i used to have like a little circle there instead that said cc which was a mod but with the latest patch it broke sadly so i'm a little bit upset i don't know if that's gonna be updated i haven't really checked in on that um but yeah so there's quite a bit of mods that i still haven't reinstalled from the past few patches so i'm a little behind on a lot of the mods that i usually have in my game but um there's a lot of small mods that i also use that sometimes help and stuff so i need to actually like, take a look at the stuff that i do have and see whether or not it is um you know updated or if it's broken or whatever the case is because sometimes it's just like a hassle for me to go through all that but since my mods folder is now organized and i know where things are it makes it a lot easier for me so i just gotta sit down and do that not only that i need to go and get some new cc because i can tell that i'm using a lot of the same stuff over and over again 
and it's because I love those pieces and so that's why I use them a lot but I haven't really gone solid CC shopping since June so it's been a long time and I know I have a lot of stuff saved on tumblr and I've missed a lot of stuff on tumblr so I, it's yeah it's it's gonna be a lot that I need to you know catch up on as far as custom content so uh, I'm excited for that but uh, yeah so that's that and this hair again I've used I think like twice now three times I don't even know but I love that hair so much I think it looks really good on her um, and I had an idea for at least her winter wear outfit where I wanted to have like this long dress and then like a long trench coat But for some reason the trench coat that I do have it doesn't show up. So yeah Anyways, also that's another thing I wish we had in the sims is like accessory jackets so, like you could put like a jacket or a hoodie or something over like a shirt that you're wearing like as an accessory rather than you know just like having to have cc that works as accessories if that makes sense so i don't know i always thought it'd be cool if you could have like that be an option but alas so moving on to our mail so did i even mention her name her name was elodie nix by the way um and then we have our boy heath so i was trying to like come up with you know i always try and find unique names for my sims because like i don't know I, I i try and avoid having like basic names not that people's names are basics i mean i find my name to be the most basic name ever like nicole like i feel like there's so many people named nicole i've been over it i mean in school there'd be like five million nicoles in my class okay maybe not that many because there's no way that that many people could fit in one classroom but there is always at least another nicole or two or three other nicoles in my class so i never liked my name um so it was really irritating you know i'm just like oh my name is so basic like i wish i had one of these like unique names or whatever so i like to use names that aren't commonly used and this is why i also ask you guys for name suggestions a lot of the times because you guys come up with names that are different or you guys know of names that are like super unique so that's why you know you guys are very helpful in that process but google is my savior when it comes to names like i just ooh. anyways this guy um heath i kind of i I had a complete different vision for what I wanted Heath to look like, but then he ended up coming out the way he is, and I thought he started to look good because y'all know that males aren't my strongest suit, but I wanted to do a couple where it was female and male because I love making my females, and I also am trying to work on making uh, better males, so I ended up really enjoying the way he turned out, so... I was gonna add a beard on him, but then I felt like he looked too masculine. And the thing is, is like I feel like that's always what I go for is to make them look more mask um, rather than, you know, just kind of like chill, no beard. But I've been really enjoying not putting beards on them because the last guy that I did, what was his name? Cedric. Uh, he didn't have a beard and he still looked cute and like still kind of had like a manlyish vibe to him. So. I don't know i'm trying something different stay steering away from the beards but the, the thing is like i feel like when i don't add a beard they look more like teens if that makes sense not that i say that a beard makes you a man or anything like that but just for some reason i just in the sims i feel like they just still look very child-esque but i think that at this point i'm just gonna say that this is like the style that i kind of go for um because you know I'm trying something new. I'm trying, you know, to create more male sims. So I still think he looks really cute. So I'm not entirely bothered. And I also love adding blush on them, of course. So there's always a little bit more color to the sims. So, I mean, I feel like I've been doing adding blush to my sims for a really long time now. I think I've gotten better as far as not overdoing it as I used to. And there was sometimes like my sims would have blush when they really didn't need it. Um, but I think it's just like, again, creating and doing a lot more of these creative sims. You kind of learn from your mistakes and like make better creations, if that makes sense. So, I don't know. Everybody progresses, um, slowly or quickly. I mean, for me, I think you can see a gradual progression as far as my sim creations. So, I love that. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, I think that is pretty much all I have for this video. Um... I don't know what I'm gonna be doing next for Create a Sim yet. I haven't really decided. Somebody did say something about shades or something or like black and white. I don't know. We'll I'll, we'll figure something out for the next one. If you guys have ideas of other themed Create a Sims, let me know. Uh, I would love to hear you guys' ideas in the comments. But without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys in a new video very soon. Bye guys.